Let's move on to a Kennington, race number four. What can you tell us about a dog called Hosk and Gonna Die? Because I've seen that it's won three of its last five. Yeah, he just looks ideally drawn here. Uh, this is a – really, it's a low-grade race, and I just think he wins. Hoss Gundy, his name is, Black Dog. Uh, he hasn't, hasn't gone out of box eight yet, but what I saw the other day out of box six, Pip, I think that he'll uh, that will suit. Won't be an issue whatsoever. And at currently around the $2.25 mark over here, I think he's a really good gamble here to just to charge straight to the front and be a little bit too good. Hopefully run around the five fifty five to the mark, and I think that'll put him in front. On to race five. Looks a tricky race on paper. So where can you lean pun- punters into? Yeah, well, I'm keen here on the red. Repeat set. Box one, ideal draw. Uh, now, the stats won't... Um, won't say, gee, Joe, you're declaring one here. You're a good judge. 44 starts for four wins. What I love is the platform to this race. Last two starts over 600 yards. I love that when they come back to 500. It's just an ideal platform for me. This is a race that looks devoid of speed on paper. I think she can, at worst, box seat, uh, uh, possibly even just go, uh, sorry, she, he, I think he can even go to the front here. If he finds the front around $6.50 and $1.90, it just looks an each-way bet to nothing for mine. On to race seven, free for all. Definitely need your help with this one because, boy, there's some form in this, including, of course, Oriental Owen, who just keeps on winning. He's, he's not a bet for me at $1.60, Pip, and I don't want to tip anyone into one at $1.60. That's not how I'd go, but he's one you want to watch. He What a super dog. And you'll get a really good line through a bitch that you know very well, Selectric, who lined up in the Group 1 railway recently. They're both from Perth, obviously. Uh, very, very similar animals. Oriental Owen, listen to this, going for nine in a row tonight. At track and distance, he's had 11 starts for eight wins in two seconds. So he's um, he's trying to bring up win number nine over track and distance. He's trying to bring up win number 41 overall. So he never wins by much. He's very tradesman-like. He'll just put his nose out in front when he has to. But I just thought for you guys, it's great to be able to tune into a dog attempting now to make it nine in a row, 41 wins overall, and a really good comparison to select trick. And on to race number eight. Only the six runners in this. Is it a race between two or is there a couple of I've others? lost you there, Pip. Oh, yeah, no, I've got you again. Uh, Molfetta Bound, uh, race eight, box two. This just looks um, it looks an ideal race. Again, it's a race devoid of speed. And I think Molfetta Bound dropping from free-for-all grade back to fourth and fifth grade level here just looks ideally drawn. And I, I think it can rush to the front. You'll be able to get a really good guy the other day. It went 5.54 its last start to the peg, which was exactly the same as More, More, More. More, More, More came out and led on Saturday night and won in a much tougher race. So I think here, in a huge drop in grade, although a dollar eighty, it's not incredible odds by any stretch, but just looks Molfetta Bounds race to go. Bang, straight to the front. Only possible danger for mine, she's Stardust.